Hello, my name is Derek Thomas and I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to find the nth term explicit formula of a particular sequence. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at this and get started. So let's just say we have a collection of numbers as follows. We're going to do two examples, by the way. So we got 1, 11, 21, 31. 41 and of course dot 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 like this so you could probably already tell what the formula is but again we're going to go through the actual thought process of solving this now before we go any further I want to just remind you of the generic formula for an explicit formula when it's arithmetic by the way so let's see here it's going to be a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d times the quantity of n minus, ooh, minus 1, minus, minus, like so. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to try to figure out, okay, what is the formula for this guy right here, the explicit formula? So we got to think about that and try to figure it out. So the first thing we got to do is we need to figure out the d, the difference. And we do that by taking a sub 2 minus a sub 1. That's what we're doing in this situation. And so that means we're going to be taking 11 minus 1, which means that our difference is going to be, equal signs here, 10, like so. Oh, that's ugly. There we go. 10. There we go. Now, what we do now is, is that we take what we know and we plug it in to our generic formula to find the, the explicit formula for this particular sequence, for this arithmetic sequence. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to have a sub n equals a1 a sub 1 plus we got a 10 here times the quantity of n minus 1 and so there's some things we got to do here so a sub 1 is going to come out to be 1 and it's going to be plus 10 n 10 times n is going to be 10 n and then 10 times negative 1 just distribu distributing here is going to be minus 10 and so when we simplify this we're going to have a sub n equals, so we're going to have 10 n minus 9, because 1 minus 10 is going to be negative 9, like so. And this right here is our formula. And so we can check this if we really wanted to. So if I put in 2, for example, uh, 10 times 2, 10 times 2 is going to be 20, and then 20 minus 9 will be 11. 3, if I put in 3 here, a sub 3, 3 times 10 will be 30, minus 9 will be 21. So you can see that our, our formula works. It looks like we're done. And so this is one example of how to find the m, the m term for the, the explicit formula for a particular uh, arithmetic sequence. Let's do one more to wrap this uh, particular video up. So here's our second one. And we got here inside this set 50. 47, 44, and 41. Oh wait, I gotta put my ellipses. We're done there. All right, so we're gonna go through the same process. First, we gotta find our D. Well, let me change the color here. First, I need to find my D. And so that's gonna be A2 minus A1, so 47 minus 50. And so our D here is gonna be minus three. All right, so now we're gonna plug this into our generic formula. We've done this before. So we got a sub n. Our a1 is going to be 50. And so this time it's going to be minus 3 times the quantity of n minus 1. Okay, so if we solve this, we're going to get 50 minus 3n plus 3 because negative 3 times negative 1 is going to be a positive. If I simplify this, I will get 53. 53 minus 3n, like so. And so let me, uh, so a sub n, let me just put that in front of it. So 53 minus 3n. <clears throat> so if we were to test that, if I put in the number 1, so uh, I'm sorry, the first term, the first term. So uh, minus 3 times 1 is going to be minus 3. 53 minus 3 is going to be, you can see right here, 50. If I put in 2, basically I'm going to take uh, minus negative 3 times 2 is going to be 6. 
negative 6 here, and so 53 minus 6 is going to be 47. So you can see that it works nice and clean, no major problems here. So let's go ahead and go back and try to review what we did here and wrap up and conclude this video. So on this video, we looked at how to find the nth term for the explicit for an explicit formula for an arithmetic sequence. And so basically, you take your sequence, you keep in mind your generic uh, generic formula over here, and you first solve for d. And so by solving for t, you take two consecutive terms. In this case, we took we took a2 and a1, and you find the difference. You then plug that difference in for the d term. And then it's just a matter of some basic algebra combining like terms and you're essentially done. Not, not incredibly complicated compared to some other things that we've done, you know, in pre-calculus. So my name is Darren Thomas. I hope that you understood what we were talking about in this video and you were able to appreciate it. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Take care.